surface has regions that experience continuous sunlight, particularly near poles, but different parts of cycle through day and night just longer than Earth's. It remains a dynamic environment shaped by cosmic forces and geological processes governed by fundamental physical laws. Each millimeter of regolith holds historic data with the impact craters illustrating this geological narrative. Universal gravitation law dictates how meteoroids move under gravity with impact speeds typically between 10 to 70 km per second and craters tens of kilometers wide. heavy bombardment ejected a vast amount of material. The exact figure is likely between shaping Moon's surface through intense impacts. Thermodynamics manages thermal cycling of space rocks, causing temperatures to swing between approximately minus 183 degrees Celsius and plus 160 degrees Celsius in the vacuum of space. Discovery of regolith braciers, rock fragments cemented together by impact melt from multiple meteorite strikes, reveals layered record of lunar history spanning billions of years. Analysis of lunar samples revealed an unusually high abundance of helium-3 in the regolith compared to Earth. A study in lunar transformation extends beyond geology alone. Physics of radiation plays a significant role. Solar wind and galactic cosmic rays constantly bombard the lunar surface, interacting with its regolith and altering its composition. This bombardment generates an electromagnetic environment that influences charged particles' behavior. While Moon's surface appeared desolate and lifeless, it harbors scientific anomalies. For instance, lunar soil exhibits an unusual electric charge due to interactions with space plasma and solar wind particles. Mm -hmm. 
either the presence of unknown conductive materials or specific ways that radiation interacts with regolith particles. Lunar dust behaves like a granular fluid, flowing and shifting under the influence of solar radiation. dust exhibits unique property. It tends to become electrically charged when exposed to solar wind. This charging can lead to electrostatic interactions between dust particles, potentially affecting their distribution and aggregation patterns on the lunar surface. 